Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we are back painting stuff, and so we're going to paint this Safari Land holster. Uh, this is a Safari Land 6360-832. It's for a Glock 17-22 uh, with a TLR1 light or a ITM3 light. I honestly don't know what that light is, so if you do, educate me. Anyways, this started life as a level 3 holster. So it had the, the button here, and then it had a hood over top, and it had this like plastic guard that protected the, the hood and the button. I took the hood off, and I took the guard thing off, because the guard thing gets in the way, I don't need that. Took the hood off, because I don't need level three, and I added a, the nub here, an extended nub from OT Defense. This was a $30 upgrade that, in my opinion, is a must on any Safari Land holster. They do make one that fits under the hood as well. This one is too big to fit under the hood, but they do make one that fits under the hood. Uh, however, I just wanted ALS. I didn't need a hood. I don't need a level three. Uh, level two is gonna be just fine for my purposes. This is gonna be the new holster that goes on my battle belt. So I am uh, adding some retention to that just because uh, this is Minneapolis and they're gonna defund the police now and uh, all kinds of fun things. So. Uh, I want retention on my battle belt setup now. So that's what I'm doing, imagine that. So this is kind of a blackish color. We're gonna paint it, right? Because black doesn't blend in at night. Uh, and I just, it's gonna match my battle belt, which is already multi-cam, so I want some more color matching. It's gotta look pretty. If you don't look cool, I don't know what you're doing. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna paint this one. Uh, I got a variety of colors. I'm gonna start out with a brown, okay? I'm gonna try to give these about 24 hours to dry in between. Uh, maybe not that long, 12 to 24, something like that. Point is, I want the coat to kind of fully, fully cure. So I'm going to start with the brown. I'm going to hit it with the brown, and then I have three other colors here. I have a dark green, kind of a dark army green. I have a khaki, and then I kind of have this army green, which is kind of like a puke green. I don't think this is going to look very good at all. I'm really curious to see what that looks like. But I'm going to do them in layers. I think I'm probably going to go dark brown, puke green tan and then and then the dark green and uh, basically the idea there is that as I wear on this and as I beat it up and I wear it and it gets nicked and cut and scratched and all that stuff the paint the top layers of paint will wear off and show the under layers of paint and so it'll kind of uh, one give it that cool vintage look but two uh, it'll add to the camouflage pattern right so that as it gets beat up it'll get more camouflage and not less so that's my theory we're gonna see if it works. I honestly have no idea. I haven't painted anything like that before. Usually I just kinda of try to do it in all one coat. So I'll be really curious to see how this how this turns out on this holster. That's my plan. We're gonna paint it now. Okay, I just wanted to show you how I decided to tape this. So basically I put sticky side out right here, uh, around here so that uh, it will, I can match up to the edge of the holster like that. And then I just put a piece over the top. I did tape off the uh, nub right here completely because I wanted to keep that clear. I want to make sure that's going to still function. I don't, I don't want to interfere with the mechanism of that at all. It's super smooth right now and I love it. So this is how I decided to tape it. Okay, we're going to start with the brown. that dry. Okay, so it's late at night here. I can kind of see it. The brown has dried a little bit there. So I'm going to hit it with kind of this ugly puke green color. Not sure if that's going to show up too well, but that's what I'm going to hit it with. Okay, we're on day three. We're gonna go with this uh, kind of tan-ish color. This is a really good base coat I found in a lot of uh, camouflage patterns, so I really like it as a as a good base coat.
Okay, so here we are on day four, and I'm gonna do a coat of the dark green, which is this one here, and uh, that one. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put some netting over it to try to get a little bit of a pattern. Uh, I don't know, I've had mixed results with, with this netting in the past, so we'll see how it turns out, but I'm gonna hit it once like this. That actually turned out better than I thought, so we'll let it dry and we'll take it from there. Okay, so here it is. Uh, it ended up blending in pretty well. I'm actually pretty happy with how that pattern turned out. You know, it looks like it, it belongs on this belt, uh, so that's that's good. Uh, one thing to note about this Safari Land holster here is that uh, it, it does have a natural clamp built into it, so. I put these stoppers here that I had on my T-Rex arms holster on here originally. I don't think they quite fit, but I made them fit and uh, kind of forced a cant in the holster there, as you can see that, so that it straightens it out, uh, so it's a straight draw. I'm a big fan of straight draw. Uh, that, that's a big deal. Sorry if I muffled the mic earlier, uh, but that's what I did there in order to get it a to be a straight draw. But the color scheme itself, uh, I think, turned out. I'll be curious to see how it holds up and once I start to get scratches and nicks and wears on it. I'm hoping that the individual layers and allowing them to fully cure and dry in between will give me the effect that I want and it won't just scratch off back to black or whatever, but it'll kind of reveal those other layers as it gets scratched. We'll see, we'll do a check in on that. But that's it, uh, it's my new holster for my new battle belt. That's how I decided to paint it. Let me know what you think. If you've painted holsters before, would love you to show me all the stuff you know that I don't know. That's always helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.